Hi, my name is Kenya, and I'll be showing you some balancing equation examples. Okay, okay I am balancing this equation. First, you would draw your line straight down the middle so you can divide each section up. And write out how many molecules are with each element. So P has four, and L, which is for oxygen, has two. And you would do the same on the opposite side. P has four here, and then oxygen has 10. And this equation is not yet balanced because of the oxygens are abruptly different. So you have to get this one to match that one or that one to match this one. So in order to get this one the same as this one, you would just put a five in front of this O, so it has five oxygen. But five times two is 10, so you cross that out and it becomes 10. And now the equation is balanced. Thank you. Hi, I'm Justina, and I'm going to be showing you some balanced equations. So here's a balanced equation that I'm about to show you guys. First things first is you draw the line in the middle so you can separate the two. Then you bring, I usually just bring the H down, all the letters down, and then the N down with a little dash mark. And then you do the same thing over here. I like to put it in order from what I did over here. And in. And then I go back over here. So H has two, so I put two here. Then the N has two, so I will put two here. And then you come on this side. The H has three, so you put three here. And the N, when it doesn't have a number by it, it's one. So I put a one here. Now, next step is you have to try to get all both um, letters with the same number, molecules, I guess that's what it's called, molecules. So we'll start with, let's start with, we'll do this, okay, so, so do this by a three, because these two would equal to six, so we cross out the two and make that a six, then I would come over here and do this by a two, because two times three equals six. So you cross that out, make that a six. And then since I did two times three equals six, you still have to do this number, so you do two times one, and that'll make it a two. And this one's already a two, and there's your balanced equation. Thank you.